Hey guys, it's Tim again with uh, another review and kind of a follow-up to uh, one of my other videos. Um, in my original post, I was making a review for the uh, in-case uh, protective cover uh, for my iPhone. And uh, as you can see from the review, <clears throat> basically it uh, was a non-protective cover that ended up scratching my phone. And uh, it was interesting, the whole um, issue that I had with this case and the unbelievable poor customer service from InCase um, led me to never want to buy another InCase product again. <laughs> so um, I did end up finding a case that I'm using right now that I will give you a brief review over and I uh, found a really good use for the InCase protective cover. Um, it ends up it does have a really nice um, use and I'll show you what that is. Come here boy. One toy, one toy, come here. Hey, take it, take it. You don't even want it. Want to take it? Come on, take it. <laughs> take it. <laughs> Here, go get it. <laughs> so that's what you can do with the end case cover. So um, the one I'm going to review right now um, is a cover that I'm going to try right now that I ended up having uh, having read some really great reviews on. Um, it's called the OtterBox, and it's called the OtterBox Defender Series for the iPhone. Make sure he's not going to eat that, because I certainly don't want to get it. Come here, boy. Come here. Let me see. Good boy. He's like, you give it to me, now you take it away. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, I'll give it back to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, the OtterBox, the Defender Series for the iPhone, um, was after my disappointing experience with the InCase uh, product, I went on a search on the Internet and uh, came across several reviews that uh, really praised uh, this case. And, uh, you know, I, I was a little bit reluctant because it adds a little bit more bulk than I really wanted to go with on the phone. But uh, after reading the reviews, everyone was kind of raving about it. So I'm like, oh, you know what the heck, uh, I'll spend the money. I think it was like $50. Um, but it gives you so much more than the end case ever could. Um, and the end case was 30 bucks, I believe. So, you know, I sprang for the 50 bucks because what it does is I'm not going to go and take it apart and everything to show you. There are some really good reviews um, on this case on the internet. And what I'll do is I'll put them in my favorites if you want to take a look um, of the ones that I watched to uh, really make me want one. So basically, I'll show you the best that I can here in this video. And you can see kind of some of the features of it right now. Okay, so basically what it does, so you can kind of see that a little bit right here, it gives you... There's, there's three different parts to it, basically. Um, there is the inner casing, which is kind of like a hard, protective um, shell underneath this. This part right here is like rubberized. I wish I had better lighting in here. But um, this part, there we go. Okay, this part right here is all rubber, okay, all around the sides and also the back. This is all kind of like a, a really nice, soft rubber and uh, gives a good grip. And uh, underneath that, you can actually take this off, and there's a hard plastic case underneath. Now the hard plastic case is completely enclosed um, and it also gives you a protection for the screen. So this is it all comes with a, a thin piece of, really thin piece of uh, plastic that's scratch resistant on the top and but the phone still works very nicely underneath um, so you don't have to worry about the phone actually um, not functioning properly when you have the case on it. And uh, so you can see right there everything works just fine. Not, you're not going to be able to see it real well but Anyway, everything works just fine with it, right through the case. And on top of that is, you can really see that. Before I put the phone in here, um, I actually got one of those um, thin plastic, almost like sticker type protective uh, coverings for the phone. So I kept that on there and then I put it in here <laughs> to give it extra protection. And I was like, is this even gonna work or not? And actually it works very well. I mean, there's not any hesitation at all when you use the phone. And, um, I mean, basically, you know, you have no problem at all touching the phone, doing whatever you want to do to it. It works just fine. So, as opposed to the in-case case, this one does not allow any kind of debris to get in to scratch your phone. Um, so, basically, there's, on the top of the phone, you can see the top, where the headphone jack is right here, there's a little uh, flap that actually closes... So you can actually protect the actual port where your headphones go in. So if you're outside and it starts to rain or whatever, it's going to keep that protected. Now, this case is not waterproof. Now, OtterBox is known for waterproof cases, 
This one just to let you know is not waterproof. Um, it is like kind of water resistant. I mean, if I were to go outside, it was drizzling out or snowing, I wouldn't worry about it because it's really, really well protected. Um, but it does give you uh, definitely more protection than a lot of cases out there. Um, on the back, you can see that they left an opening to show the Apple logo. Uh, if you can kind of see that. And also uh, room for the camera there. Now these two are also protected. Um, and I was a little concerned about the camera being you know, having a piece of plastic over it to keep it protected because I was worried about the quality of the, the uh, picture that it would take. But I have to say, it takes still amazing pictures and it doesn't affect the quality of the picture at all whatsoever. Um, let's see, on the top, there's still the on-off switch right here. So you just, let's like kind of, kind of rubber uh, little bulb, um, bulb there that you just press down. Um, on the side, there is the volume rocker. Someday I'm going to buy some lights that actually can see this. The volume rocker is right here, and you just press in and out, and it, it responds very well. Um, the only thing you cannot use while it's in the case is the actual little switch that it's on the side here to put it in vibrate mode. Um, but uh, you can just turn the phone off if you're going into a meeting or whatnot, and you don't want to be disturbed. On the bottom, uh, there is there are two little holes, and they're actually like shielded with like this little padding. It looks like a I don't know what it, what, it, what, kind of what it is in there, but it's so that you can still hear and you can still hear the ringer and you know the the everything you can talk on the phone and everything no problem but it doesn't let debris get in there or water get in there and also there's a cover for the actual um, docking station or not the docking station but the docking cord and again this thing lifts up so you can actually get to the the dock right there if you can kind of tell so there's a little flap right there that just closes right down when it's not in use and you just pop it in there and it keeps it nice and protected so you don't have to worry about getting anything in there as well. Um, let's see here. It does have an opening right here at the top for the uh, uh, earphone or the um, speaker and also for the um, um, accelerometer so that when you put it up to your ear, it will turn off the screen so you don't have to worry about that being blocked as well. Uh, yeah, you like this one, huh? You like this one? <laughs> yep, my dog likes it. Hey, buddy. Like it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see? <laughs> okay, 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 sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, this is the OtterBox Defender case for the iPhone. Um, definitely highly suggest it. And as I mentioned, it has a little bit more bulk than I really would have liked to, to have seen on the phone. Not a whole lot. It still fits in your pocket real nicely. Um, but really, the protection is uh, so far been incredible. And uh, you know, I kind of I really like it. Uh, let's see, if you need to take it out, you can. You just lift off this rubber part, part and it actually comes all off and you can take it apart and get the phone out there. Um, so anyway, so far so good. I'll give you an update if anything changes, but so far this seems like a real winner. I like the protection on the top and the bottom and also the screen's protected as well as the back, the camera, so you can actually go outside and you know if it's drizzling outside I wouldn't worry about it at all whatsoever. So anyway, that's my two cents on the OtterBox Defender case and um, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye.